Al Santillo from Santillo's Brick Oven Pizza in Elizabeth, New Jersey. And right now I'm dying to make my new 2020 model top of the line Sicilian pizza. So right now I'm going to start now to have a large Sicilian pie which is 16 inch. But I, I want to make it a little thinner. So I'm carefully going to stretch out the dough. Which is why I have this oversized pan. I can make it any size I want. But if I'm going to make it 18 inch, that's the new size now because it comes a little thinner and that's popular. But the dough is, is just perfect. Now I'm going to take some of my 100% mozzarella cheese. It's called low moisture. You can buy this in any supermarket. You could get a good brand in there. Try all the different brands. I recommend 100% mozzarella. But I mean, um, it's called full fat, not the part skim one. Because if you're going to eat it, you may as well be enjoying it. That's my motto. So then I have these. I have a special place only a few miles from here. I buy them right off the factory. These are the fresh mozzarella balls. And I can get these delivered every day that they're made. I, I want to squeeze the water out of them. If there's any water, squeeze the water out. And everybody's seen these fresh mozzarella balls. They're all over the place. This is what one looks like. This is not the same as the aged mozzarella. It's a different process. And this, I, I like doing everything with my hand. That's how I was taught. Just make sure your hands are clean. I show you the move. Look, you make it. Here comes two worlds collide. Okay. And you just then you just break it up like that, and you could do some. I I can never make up my mind. I'm always torn. Do I want little pieces like this, or I just want to throw a few big ones on there? I like it both ways, and, and I'll do it both ways from time to time. But right now, I'm I'm in a mood. I'm going to put little pieces on. So I broke it up into all little pieces. Then my next move is these tomatoes. These are the San Marzano tomatoes. They're imported from the San Marzano region in Italy. Puglia. They're actually grown in Puglia. They're packed out at the base of Mount Vesuvius where they tell you they're all from. But they're actually not grown there. They're grown in the region. You have to, you have to buy whole tomatoes. You have to break them up like this. And you have to squeeze a nice amount of the water out. Like a nice big handful like that. You don't want to overpower. You could put as much as you want. It's made to taste, but to me, that's a nice amount. The same thing. I could go like this and have the whole thing done in two seconds. Then I'll take a few more.